This morning you said about the Thomas Nelson publishers publishing the NIV, I think, and they had lost money. I just wonder what publishing company, <clears throat> tonight you mentioned that what they use is describing the words and all is not always right. What publishing company best puts out a study Bible? Is it okay. Schofield or, okay. or who? Now, I don't personally recommend study Bibles. I just like a plain text Bible that has no notes. You'll notice those little cross-reference notes. Almost every Bible, even the Cambridge, they're amillennial or they're postmillennial. So when you start getting the notes on Israel, then they'll turn into the church in the New Testament. I mean, they'll just go crazy. It's like that person who's ever making those notes, they sure don't know the Lord. You know, it's like, how did that get to there? You know, that's like crazy. You know what I'm saying? So just a plain text Bible where you study it yourself. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Look up created in Strong's. Where is it? Well, in Ephesians, God who created all things by Jesus Christ. Well, in Genesis 1-1, if you were studying the word that way, you'd know that God, Jesus Christ created everything. That'd be great the first day you're reading the Bible to find out that Jesus Christ created everything. I remember when I was first saved and I found that out. I was real excited to find out Jesus Christ created everything. That was great. So basically, as far as people who are printing the King James Bible now, uh, I, you know, I really encourage churches that are supporting groups like Bearing Precious Seed that are printing Bibles or uh, Lock, not, not Lockman, uh, Lock Haven foundation or some of these church groups that are actually printing Bibles. I like to see the Bible in the hands of the church because in order to Im impugn, uh, impeach the witness, I think that's the word. I think Thomas Nelson is doing some tricky things. They have changed in their Thomas Nelson Bibles uh, in Acts or Hebrews, I think. It's Jesus. It's Jesus in Greek and it's Jesus in English. They've changed it to Joshua. Along to match the, the King James, to match the New King James, because the New King James denies Jesus in both of those places, makes it Joshua. Well, they've got King James Bibles they're printing now with Joshua in there instead of Jesus. Well, we can look at that and say, well, look, that doesn't matter. They're trying to impeach the King James Bible by changing those few things. Zondervan changes a lot of spelling and some of those other ones. Cambridge uh, keeps the standard international spelling. Oxford keeps the, the international spelling. You know, now, World and some of these other ones, I haven't checked all of their spelling. I don't know, you know. But not, when, when, when there are typos in the King James Bible or people are changing, that does not make it not the word of God. It just means this one little publisher at this one point in time is messing up with this one little place. You know, that doesn't mean that, you know, we don't still have the word of God.